I do want that to get the opportunity to say a few words on this. And it's very important. Look, hate, scheme, uh, hate speech and crimes don't come in any one shape or form. And across all sectors of society. And you know, I've been uh, cases presented to me recently uh, about members of official bodies in Ireland and their uh, texts and the, te the abuse that goes on. The abuse that goes on in the prison office. I spoke to you before, prison office association uh, ministers, and uh, you don't seem to be about it. Are the superior people here? And we have whistleblowers and they're being ignored. So that leads to people's frustration. The same when we come in here, we can't get answers to, uh, proper answers to that. And people get so frustrated, especially with the current crisis. I too want to compliment from the bottom of my heart. Uh, and Shannon Orr, uh, Shannon Kyogen. For the exceptional job she did this morning, and thank every, all the members and the minister was there, and everybody getting, I think, over 30 ambassadors into the room. That was a statement in itself. I've met the Ukrainian ambassador, and um, we have many Russian uh, families, and I have many Russian children in my county that were adopted, and uh, you, lovely young people, and doing their best, and we can't tear them all with one brush. The, 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 their the, their uh, president is just uh, power hungry and, and uh, savage, actually, what's going on, but we can't allow our tea to set the narrative, uh, the narrative either. We did that with the COVID crisis, and that's why people get so frustrated online, because you've got one vision, tunnel vision, nothing else from anybody else was tolerated. That's a dangerous road to be on as well. And we have, we have it here now in this war as well. Uh, very dangerous place to go. Thank you. Thank you, David.